few days ago, I was listening to a guy. Um, his name is John Samez. If you guys are in the programming community, uh, he runs the programming channel, simpleprogrammer.com. In fact, he's changed his website uh, or his YouTube name now to Bulldog Mindset. And he has a website, bulldogmindset.com. I'm an avid follower of John. I've been for maybe three years. I really like his philosophy and his mindset in life. And if you guys are at all familiar with what he does um, or what he, he says, I really identify with a lot of what he says. And uh, I really aspire to be someone who takes action like John Sanmez. And so uh, the other day he was doing a, a live stream. And during the live stream, one of the things that really, really stuck out to me was talk, he was talking about how you shouldn't follow your passion regarding your career. Instead, you should be following um, the smartest way or the best way to uh, add value to the market. And so this whole time, I think people, uh, I've told people anyway, that you should be following your passion in cybersecurity. If you have a passion in cybersecurity, go for it. Uh, if you have a interest in cybersecurity, go for it. John, someone who's been uh, very experienced and, and pretty successful in building uh, not only just simpleprogrammer.com, but he's also a Pluralsight uh, author, uh, over 50 courses that he's done. And he's done a whole bunch of real estate and investing. So he's he's very successful. And so exact he knows exactly what he's doing uh, and the things that he's been saying, he's attested to and he's actually done. And so I think one of the things that people are going to be telling me is, well, Grant, you told me to follow my passion. Um, why this other guy who's really experienced is saying, don't follow your passion, follow what's going to add value to the market. And I'm going to go all the way back to say this. I think uh, personally, you need to have at least an, a, a, a minimum of an interest in cybersecurity, right? If you hate the career, uh, if you hate what you're going to be doing, why would you even do it? Don't get me wrong. You can make a sufficient amount of money in cybersecurity. And yes, you can get good job security. And yes, you will have a job right out of college as long as you're not somebody who um, totally screws up their background record. You definitely are going to be able to be successful on the entry level uh, once you have a degree or some sort of certification. But for me personally, if you don't have an interest and in even a minimum of interest in cybersecurity, you're really going to be struggling with getting through the curriculum that you're going to go through uh, and, and the, the type of work required. You know, the a few weeks ago, I did a video talking about the 10 ways uh, to know if you're wired for cybersecurity. And one of those, uh, th those points was continuous education. And if you don't even have an, an interest in cybersecurity, that's going to be really hard to be doing those continuous educations uh, towards certifications, but just in general, you have to be learning so much about the industry because it's so so much changing every single day. Uh, and I know that's as corny as it sounds. It's true. It, it's changing every year. So you're going to be changing and constantly learning about different approaches and understanding what the new threats are and, and how to combat those threats. And so... If you don't even have an interest in cybersecurity, it's going to be so hard to get through the curriculum that you're going to get through. And then also just every single day going to a job that you have zero interest for. I'm not saying or nor discouraging you from pursuing a, a career in cybersecurity because you want the money or you want the job security or you want, you know, something that in the lines of it's a cool job title. Don't get me wrong. I really think it's cool, but I really, at the minimum, I think you need to have an interest in cybersecurity if you're really going to be successful. Uh, someone who is avid. Now, regarding the passion piece, I would say this. If you have a passion, that's really good. That means you're going to be able to get through even harder things. You're going to be able to solve problems at a, at a faster, but even, even better than that, efficient rate. And honestly, you're going to be able to make yourself uh, known in the, in the community because you have a passion, right? You have something you really like doing what you do. Now, don't get me wrong, passions die. Passions die throughout life. We go through seasons of life. And so you may not have a passion all this time for cybersecurity, but if you have a passion for a certain amount of time, for sure, you'll be able to get through the grunt work, um, the grunt experience 
and you'll be able to push through those things and develop the career you want to. Yes, I uh, regarding this John Sunmez video, I really totally agree with his idea and his, his, his opinions upon this. In fact, he's way more experienced and so I totally definitely uh, align with what he's saying. But for me personally, you at least need to have an interest in cybersecurity to really pursue and be successful, uh, be a successful individual who at least enjoys or can be okay with going to their job on a daily basis. So thank you guys for watching, and I, I really hope this helps you understand uh, where I fall in terms of, uh, you know, you don't need to have a 100% passion in cybersecurity, but you shouldn't have a 0%, I don't want to do this, but I just want to do it for the money. So let me uh, know what you guys think. You know, am I completely wrong? Uh, am I saying something that's completely wrong? I would love to hear your comments and your feedback, and uh, just go ahead and comment down below. And that's about it. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day and remember to have some interest in cybersecurity. Oh yes, and one more thing. I do have uh, Is Cybersecurity Right For You quiz? A downloadable uh, worksheet, very small. Uh, it will take less than five minutes to, f to fill it out. And honestly, it's just a state step one, a little baby step in terms of what you can do uh, in the industry and if you're wired for or want a career in the industry. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a good day.